As a kid growing up in central Victoria, Dyson Daniels could only dream of one day making it onto basketball's biggest stage. Now 20 years old, he's finished his rookie season with the New Orleans Pelicans, defending against some of the best-known players in the NBA. He's a really good player. He's athletic, can play hard. It's pretty surreal, you know, coming up against some of the names that you, you watch growing up and, you know, you, you idolise as well. So, you know, to be out there on the floor with them, defending them, it's a lot of fun and, you know, you want to go at them as well to show that you belong in this league. Dyson's path to the US took him first to Canberra, where he trained at the NBA Global Academy, an elite basketball centre at the Australian Institute of Sport. He played there alongside his childhood friend, Josh Giddy, who's now a rising star for the Oklahoma City Thunder and was the first Academy graduate to be drafted. The New Orleans Pelicans select Dyson Daniels from Bendigo, Australia. Dyson's shot came a year later when he was selected by the Pelicans as the overall number eight draft pick last June. That was the best moment of my life when I heard my name called, you know, uh, from that uh, moment, you know, having the whole family there, playing basketball ever since I was five years old, having the dream to be in the NBA. It really was, you know, a fantastic moment for me and my family. For me, it was a totally new experience. I really didn't even understand how the draft process worked, so it was an absolutely baptism of fire. I had to go to YouTube to figure out what happens on draft night, you know? What do the ladies wear? Great. Dyson's parents travelled to New York for the draft from Bendigo, where they raised three boys and run a gym. He was the, the active one in every single way, but, uh, and also really quite a uh, scaredy cat kid, to be quite honest. That's a real Aussie saying, isn't it? <laughs> he was the one hanging off mum's leg or dad's leg. He wouldn't go anywhere, whether it was with us or luckily for him, an older brother that encouraged him to give things a try. Yeah, so I'll get you to fill that up. Dyson's father, okay? Ricky Daniel, spent years playing with local team, the Bendigo Braves, after moving to Australia from the US. He's conscious of the modern pressures Dyson faces in the NBA. He gets a bit of help from some of the veteran guys, um, you know, about staying away from social media. You know, you can have a bad game and you'll get ripped apart. You know, and I try to put things in perspective and let him know that it doesn't matter what player it is, you know, your elite players, they still get it. With his first NBA season behind him, Dyson's next goal is to play for Australia. He and Josh Giddy have been named in the extended Boomers squad ahead of this year's World Cup and will train with veterans of the game like Patty Mills and Joe Ingalls in the hope of making the final 12-man roster. There's a buzz about the Boomers, the Boomers brand. The list doesn't include one of Australia's most famous basketball exports, Ben Simmons. But head coach Brian Gorgian is still willing to consider the Brooklyn Nets forward. He didn't finish the season on the floor. He's not healthy, but the door is open for Ben Simmons and, to be a part of these Boomers. And there's no doubt he's of the playing ability and, and he fits our group. Two years after the team won its first Olympic medal in Tokyo, Brian Gorgian is setting high expectations for the World Cup and for the Paris Olympics, where he insists the Boomers can take gold. You know, the rose gold, the, the bronze medal, you don't want to be a one-hit wonder. And this works in four-year cycles. And um, it's very important that there's energy coming into this. I want to represent my country, especially with some of the Australians that are in the NBA today. I think we can you know, do really well and you know, go get a gold medal. And while Dyson's parents will be cheering him on at every step of his career, they're also mindful of the challenges. It's tough, the NBA. It's a magnificent step, but it is hard work, a lot, a lot of discipline. But um, they've got someone in Dyson who will just know, he will shine. The Dyson that we know as a kid who just never gives up his work ethic and discipline is phenomenal. Now, at the end of the day, we just want him to enjoy it, you know what I mean?